Right, Black Science TV 111, Oseka 4, I'm back at y'all again. Now, the subject today will be pertaining to um, a lot of the um, engineering as far as genocidal tactics that the Chemical and Biological Warfare Department in Fort Detrick, Maryland, um, where the FEMA headquarters is located, where they are actually um, engineering diseases and viruses into nature and using it as a military strategy against their own so-called citizens right here in the United States Corporation. Now, a lot of us, um, if you look around, especially in the projects and low-income neighborhoods, or in the black community in particular, you will see that um, you see a lot of unknown cats um, and dogs coming into our neighborhoods at night or in the daytime, and you've never seen them before. This is because these are animals that are actually created at the Chemical and Biological Warfare Department that is injected with viruses to only attack a certain physiological blueprint system that consists of a certain DNA that is very dominant. Get what I'm saying? Now, the type of melanin that we have, we have three types of melanin. We have neuromelanin, pheomelanin, and we have euomelanin. The neuromelanin is what Europeans are afraid of. Why? Because neuromelanin is the antenna for all so-called black people, which actually um, allows us to have a paradigm shift with every shift that is utilized within the, the Earth systems. So within the Earth systems today, we see that a lot of things are shifting for the best on, on behalf of our defense. And so therefore, there are many dimensions that Europeans are trying to get to, but they are only stuck between the third and the fourth. They cannot get to the fifth dimension. So therefore, the shift that is taking place is actually inside of the neural melanin, which is who we are. And now the sun is actually delving into other dimensions, distributing the information into our DNA. And so therefore, now they are looking into our DNA. They are doing phony tests on us to tell us to come in, take um, free physicals and things of that nature. And they are extracting our blood, which is who we are, because the blood is the spiritual um, umbilical cord of information. And we are information. We are every thought that enters into the physical mind. We are every thought that enters into the universe's core. We, our thoughts is what happens to allow or to utilize the rhythm of the universe's paradigm shift to be able to tap into certain dimensions whenever we need it. Now, the animals that's being pasted, placed in our neighborhood are not natural animals. These animals are not natural. They are cloning them at Fort Detrick, Maryland, at the Chemical and Biological Warfare Department. They are cloning them with certain viruses to attack an immune system that is giving birth to children at a high rate. And we know that the black woman is the only being that is giving birth to children at a high rate today in America. Now, they have systems at these um, laboratories in Fort Detrick, Maryland, where they are testing Europeans and black people. They, they are setting them in a room and they are releasing viruses or frequencies to attack. But these viruses or frequencies are only set. They are signals of diseases that are set to only attack the immune system of that so-called black person that is in that room. It is not attacking the European. So they are creating genocidal tactics of military tools that are on that that are, that is altering our DNA as far as energy wise. Energy is the basis for everything. And these animals that is in the community are clone animals. They are clone animals. This is why when you go to Chinese restaurants and stuff like that, you are not eating real meat. Even in your supermarkets. These this is clone meat that you are eating. You get what I'm saying? This is why we get. This is why we are high carriers of high blood pressure and diabetes and things of that nature because our body is an electrical um, vessel, and by it being an electrical vessel, you have to feed an electrical vessel electrical foods or electrical components because every thought is electrical. Your veins in your body is an electrical currency, and this is why people when they have um, when they are having seizures. It is because their veins are broken. The electricity is jumping out into the blood. And so therefore they fall unconscious. Whenever your veins is broken, um, the electricity um, jumps out into the blood. And now you start you know, having convulsions and you fall out. But to get back to um, the animals, these animals, even they, they are using these strategies inside of birds. You remember when the bird flu came? They actually engineered this into um, clone birds and set them out in certain geographical parts of the earth. To attack certain people. Whenever the United States government find any type of resource on behalf of their agenda, they will release military strategies as far as engineering things into that geographical area, such as earthquakes, by way of harp as well. 
the harp system that they have in, in Gankona, Alaska, they have 150 to 180 antennas that they shoot up into the sun. And what it does is it heats up the ionosphere. And then it goes down, that frequency goes down into the ground one mile. And what it does, they can control the clouds. They can modify the weather. They can cause earthquakes, tsunamis, hurricanes, and things of that nature. This is what happened over in Haiti. They have found some type of, um, they found some type of oil, which was identical to the melanin that we have in our DNA. And so they said, in order for us to be justified in getting into Haiti, we're going to cause an earthquake and act like we're going over there to help these people. Not only that, but they had they had people over there who had some type of a, a type of DNA that were actually pre reproducing at a high rate, and they wanted to create a biological patent to put this um, to actually start experimenting. But they told you they were doing stem cell research, which they were lying. So what they do, they caused an earthquake over there. Same thing with um, New Orleans, Hurricane Katrina. But they did that because they were actually coming to abduct children. Those children in Hurricane Katrina. Um, they never, a lot of those children were missing and never got to see their parents again, or the parents never got to see their children again. They took those children down to Dulce, New Mexico, inside of the laboratories, and they cloned those children. And the ones who, who the ones the parents did get to see were clones. They brought them, they brought the clone ones back and kept the real child. You get what I'm saying? Because, it's, because it is the original copy that has the natural substance of DNA and information that they really need. You get what I'm saying? So, yeah, be careful. So a lot of people in the black community, I see that y'all, you know what I mean, we are getting, we, we are utilizing European tradition in ways when we want to walk with dogs and we find dogs and want to clean them up and take them off the street. Be careful because they are inserting viruses into these animals and placing them into our communities at nighttime while we are asleep. They are placing these animals into our communities at night while we are asleep. Not only that, but they have cameras in them so they can keep an eye on the black community. These animals are functioning satellites, functioning camcorders for the government. You get what I'm saying? So a lot of this going to go over y'all head, but to the ones, again, I'm only speaking to those with the third eye. But um, I love y'all. This is Black Science TV 111, 0 I'm out. Peace.